is the best United shirt of your era? And I'm going to suggest it was this one. Because I think this is the um, possibly my favourite United shirt. And I sent That's you this fine. picture you after the one. last interview. Yeah, that, that... But what is your, fa- <laughs> your favourite Manchester United That's shirt? The... Of your... That's my favourite Manchester United shirt of this year. It's amazing, right? <laughs> And it's uh, pretty unique that one for various different yep. reasons. Uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of between two: uh, the green and yellow, green and yellow Newton Heath, mm-hmm. and the um, the black one with um, view cam on. I oh, that's that nice. Yellow. Yeah, the one that. Um, that Eric was wearing when he slipped into the crowd in the, somewhere <laughs> in London. They would they would be the ones that that I would that I would probably uh, go for uh, as in my my time. Yeah. Is there any yeah. re- any like reason for there. that? Sorry. No, I just liked them. Simple uh, as that. I just uh, I liked you know I like there's a there's a team photograph of the the black and yellow one. We were all. Um, Done up like players from the the Newton Heath era with a hair grease back and the uh, moustaches, moustaches and all different things. And uh, uh, I thought that the manager's got a flat cap on. I thought I think it's a a brilliant picture. Uh, and I think the the strips. I just like the strip. It's just colours that I like. And the black one I thought was yeah, black one as well. You don't see many black. Well, they, were the, they were the two that I thought. Huh? You don't see many black football kids, do the, you? I think it may have been the first one. I think that. Yeah. No, I don't know. I can't see it's the first one. I just thought well, it's traditionally it's the referee in black, isn't it? Yeah, not now. It's not now, is it? So, no, not now. But like before, it would have been. Yeah. No, that was that. I go for one of those two. Cool, cool, cool. So you're not one of these people that has like. Um, real collects a, a shirt because we've had Wes Brown on before, and he keeps his old shirts. He's quite proud of the memories that he has of like say champions league shirts or fa cup shirts you're not attached to them in that way uh, no no there is a thing attachment to to shirts that have got um, a special memory for you i mean the difference in my time was that um well certainly if you look at it from where's have been part of that kind of thing they they swap shirts every game true um we had to uh uh, it was it was almost um well it wasn't it was it was it was very difficult uh, to get a a shirt you you got a shirt at the end of the season it was it's a bit easier when um when names went on came onto the back of your shirt and the shirt was changing but before that they would reuse the shirts for for lots of different reasons and you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, necessarily get any so it was only really when the names came in and even then it was like uh you try to get uh, your, uh, a shirt out of Albert Morgan, who was a kit man, was not easy at all. You know, I think that I, don't know, I think if anybody's looking for anything, that Albert's your guy. You know, so, yeah, I think Albert somewhere will, will come out with uh, every single strip by every single player uh, at some point as uh, his own personal collection. There might be a there might be an exhibition in the um, in the Louvre. Have the Albert Morgan collection. <laughs> just have like a Brian McClare shirt hanging over the Mona Lisa. Just there he goes. Yeah, 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 like that. Yeah, yeah, me next to yeah. I don't think it'll be me. Well, like, it'll be somebody that was good. <laughs> you were good, Brian. Don't give me none of that. You were good and you know you were. 